Well, we begin part two with something a little different, cows being milked by solar powered energy. The head of 370 Halstein cattle at Kilford Farm in Edenby produce over 3 million litres of milk a year with sun sourced power providing the electricity. The 392 panels installed by the family farm can produce around 80,000 kilowatts of electricity a year and that's enough to power over 20 homes. Nathan Arch has been down on the farm and has this report. Dairy farming may seem a traditional industry, but now the latest technology is taking this Denbyshire farm into the 21st century. Milking cows uses a phenomenal amount of electricity. Now Delwyn Evans at Kilford Farm has cut costs by turning to the most obvious source of power, the sun. We've been considering it for a few years, but we were a bit reluctant to change the pl take the plunge because dairying wasn't in a good place, but we thought we'd before the tariffs went down, we'd have to bite the bullets and try and inflation-proof electricity for the future. And um, it seems to be working okay at the moment. Um, at the moment, we're about 75-80% uh, self-sufficient, but the sun's out. It's a different option in, in the winter, obviously. It's maintenance-free at the moment. Uh, we, there's no work involved with it. We might have to clean it in the future. As long as we monitor it, uh, that things are working. Okay, that's the main thing, but hopefully the, the supplier will uh, keep an eye on things for us. Kilford Farm has 392 solar panels on the roof of its sheds. The power is then connected to generators used to keep the farm alive and kicking. The firm which installed the system, Harvard Electricity, says any power not used by the business can go back into the community. It's, it's an it's 80 kilowatt system here. Um, he produces about uh, 80,000 units a year. Uh, to put that in pers perspective, the average household uses about 3,000 units per year. So it's, it's, it is a large system. Um, uh, on a nice clear day like today, it's easily covering his running costs. Um, and he would probably be exporting some back into the grid as well to help the local community. And, well, I mean, the bulk of the work is actually getting the panels on the roof, as you can probably see in the background. I think uh, this particular job, there's 392 panels. Um, there is a lot of cabling involved to get all those panels back to, we've got sort of a little, um, little area where the, the power produced by the panels is converted um, into the kind of power that we expect to see out of our sockets and stuff like that. Maybe batteries will come along and where we can charge them and then you know it'll, we can make use of it uh, when there's no sun. Maybe in the future, hopefully. Um, usage, milking, cooling, lights, um, automatic uh, cleaning out, uh, water pumps with a borehole, that's going all the time, pumping it out to the fields. While the farm has yet to experience the solar energy under a dark Welsh winter, this investment has allowed the business to cut costs and stay afloat. Nathan Archer, North Wales News, Denby.